this is extremely important not to give up, never to give up. Uh, and I believe that the, the, the diplomatic efforts are needed, even when there are difficulties, even when there are uh, setbacks. And you know that we'll have the occasion today to meet together with President Macron, with President Scholz, and with Prime Minister uh, Pashinyan. I take note, uh, there is a decision taken by President Aliyev not to attend the, meet the meeting. I, I take note, but we do not uh, give up, and we are absolutely convinced that this is our interest uh, within the EU to have a stable and prosperous Caucasus. And you know, before we start on the, at the EU level of mediation, we were not very active and present in that region. With this EU uh, mediation effort, it means that we are defending uh, our uh, interests, we are promoting our values uh, in that region. It's what we need to do. Uh, the European Union uh, is a fundamental political project. We need to protect and to defend the interests of our citizens and the interests of our citizens. This is very clear. This is a stable and prosperous neighborhood, including in the South Caucasus. Uh, you, you know, uh, uh, this is, this is uh, his decision, uh, and uh, we, we have tried to work to prepare a, a meeting with President Aliyev and with Prime Minister Pashinyan. Uh, we have proposed some uh, ideas to, to make sure that uh, we can bring more, more stability, more ser ser serenity, that we can address the humanitarian consequences of the situation. This is his decision, and I do not intend to comment publicly his decision. I, I, I will have the opportunity to tell to him uh, directly uh, what is my feeling about the decision not to come. Mr. President, why Europe stayed silent for almost 30 years and one million of displaced Azovian people from Karabakh and Armenia and is actively speaking now on behalf of Armenia? I'm, I'm, Do you think Europe can be a neutral mediator after that? Yeah. <laughs> Answer number one, yes, the EU is a neutral mediator because the EU has no hidden agenda. Uh, our agenda is very clear. This is prosperity, stability, security, and predictability, point one. And point two, we made a lot of progress in the past with the mediation. When we started the mediation about three years ago, uh, we uh, uh, made some concrete and tangible uh, results with the exchange of prisoners, with some progress uh, in terms of exchange of mining maps, in terms of uh, 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 discussions that have started for the border delimitation with uh, uh, the launch of uh, two border commissions that are supposed to work together. We made progress on the connectivity by discussing the details of the modalities and the principles of sovereignty and jurisdiction and reciprocity that should be guaranteed in terms of, uh, uh, of, of efforts for, for improving the connectivity in the region. But we are very sincere, we are very uh, honest, uh, we uh, understand that more diplomatic efforts are needed. This is what we will do today with uh, the Prime Minister of uh, uh, Armenia. Thank you, just a pleasure to meet you this morning. Thank you. Bye.